Okay, good afternoon. Buon pomeriggio. Am I saying it right? Buon pomeriggio. Good afternoon. Come and survive. How you doing? It's your boy, Big Rich. Coming off his birthday weekend, June 10th, 2019. And for today's mob story, a little history. Straight from the pages of About the Mafia. On this day in mafia history, the death of John Gotti. It was 2002, June 10th. When flamboyant Gambino crime family boss John Gotti passed away in jail at the age of 61. Gotti died in the medical center for federal prisoners in Springfield, Montana, after a long battle with cancer. The Dapper Don never shunned the spotlight and was one of the most celebrated gangsters in New York mafia history. Gotti's downfall came back in December of 1990. When the Bronx-based mobster, who's living in Queens, of course, was arrested along with Sammy Gravano and Frank Lacasquillo. The new racketing indictment from the federal government charged Gotti with five murders and multiple other mafia-related crimes. Tape from FBI bugs placed in the room above the Raven Knight Social Club on Mulberry Street captured Gotti and others talking about criminal activities and more. These recordings led to Gotti's underboss and right-hand man, Sammy Gravano, Disgraciad, one of the greatest rats in the history of fucking varmint and rodents, turning state's evidence and agreed to testify. Now retired agent Bruce Mao said of Gotti, he was a gangster and proud of it. He was an old-fashioned La Cosa Nostra member. Mao spent 18 years as part of a team to build the case that led to Gotti's conviction. The leader of one of the the leader of one of New York's most powerful mafia families had become public enemy number 1 for the feds. John Gotti had beaten multiple cases leading to his infamous nickname the Teflon Don before the feds with the help of a rat Sammy Gravano Disgraciad were finally able to put him behind bars. It seems unlikely the modern-day Cosa Nostra will ever see another boss like John Gotti, and that's a good thing as far as the mob's concerned. Since the days of Gotti, the New York Mafia has transformed itself back into an organization that centers around staying out of the headlines and away from the public eye, which is the way it was always, always meant to be. And a quote from the 1996 Gotti movie, A Cosa Nostra Boss Does Not Belong on the cover of Time magazine. I got to agree with that. That was his weakness, his vanity, his ego. He was a slave to it. <laughs> you want pe- you a boss of a crime family? You want people to look at you like you a bum in the streets. They have no care and concern. Meanwhile, you run shit. You understand what I'm saying? It's your boy Big Rich with another mob story. Today in mafia history, the anniversary of the passing away of the Don John Gotti. Salute.